Welcome to another edition of Mid City TV. And here we are, number two, the second time. Really? Uh, se second time. It's better the second time, yes? It's, it's always better the second time. <laughs> with Helen Don Baltis, the first interview, which you can check in the link below. We went to Howard's house and he was preparing mm -hmm. for this big grand show of illusion that is now coming upon us. Yes, like almost two years later. Almost huh? two years yeah. later. So now we are at the theater. This is a theater, La Libertad, in the southern part of Centro. Well, Centro on the 65. Mm -hmm. On the 65. So Howard, tell us about your process and we are almost there. The show, the first show is going to be April 20th, it's getting close, it's getting close. It's actually fun. It's a combination of magic, music, dance, art, a little bit of culture, and a whole lot of grand illusions like you see behind me. Yes, there are all sorts of boxes and contraptions and- Torture yeah, devices. Torture devices, so she's gonna, are you gonna like cut a woman in half? We're not gonna go that far, but I, you know, we were gonna keep <laughs> some of the things for a surprise, but yeah, there's some very weird and strange elements to the show. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, okay, so tell us about this process and tell us about what it is that we're going to see because it's really a unique show here in Merida. Yeah, it is. There's nothing like it. I don't think there's any, been anything like this at all before. It's not just a magic show because I don't think a magic show would just work here. It has to be it has to be more. There has to be other elements involved. Every, every well, show... You're that saying I, the, mm -hmm. the difference between magic and illusion. So, oh, well, uh, you know, well, first, illusionists make more money than magicians, which is, the, you know, that's the reason I said that. But, <laughs> but, you know, that was a joke. <laughs> then I'm boom, boom. Um, illusions are magic tricks, but in a very big way. Uh, they're usually done on stage. You need a lot of space to, to do illusions and a lot of people. We have 16 people in our cast and crew. Six, how Six, how 16. 16. 16 right 16. now, yeah. And there are professional um, dancers. Dancers, actors, acrobats, just incredible people. And they're from Merida or they're from around Merida? Most of it now, right now, most of them are from Merida, but we have people sometimes, we've had people and we still continue to have people from other parts of the world. We have people from now, you know, Venezuela, my mind always goes blank with that for some reason. Venezuela, um, Hungary, and they, they work also behind the scenes. Right. They're not always up here in front, but I'm trying to get one of them who's, who's my trainer out in front because he's great at this kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. So what has the process been like? I mean, I know you guys have been working really hard. Yeah. Practicing a lot of rehearsing. Let's say. A lot of rehearsing. Yeah, we're here two nights a week. Uh -huh. We actually were in another theater. Um, Carlos Asoreto for, right. uh, uh, for I, was, I was ready to shift right into Spanish there, right. force of habit, for two years. Um, and, and it was just a lot of work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Literally blood sometimes when there are, you know, dangerous things that we do. Uh, and, and definitely sweat because, well, you know, it's Merida. Blood and energy. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah, we won't talk about those right <laughs> now, though. Um, but it's, it's, it's a lot of preparation because it's not a, just a show of dance. It's not just a, a music show. It's It's magic, music, dance, which incorporates a lot of movement, a lot of choreography. Right. It's, you, you first have the, the sequence essentially is you learn how the illusions work and you practice the moves to make them, the, the illusion look like real magic. Right. Once that's done, you start to work on other elements like timing to make it boom, fast instead of boom. Sure, it's a total production. It, it is, it is. And then you have to work on the choreography of the illusion itself with the people involved in the illusion. Then you add the music, then you add the lighting, which is a whole other realm, sure, you know? Yeah. And the whole cool thing is you add the curtains, it all comes together in the end, and it's like, uh, it, it's basically like an orchestra. And when it works, it's absolutely It's incredible. an orchestra, and you are the conductor. You are, you are the- There's mastermind. a lot of conductors here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I might be the principal conductor, but there's a lot of masterminds. The lighting I could never do on my own. Nacho, who's incredible takes charge of all of this and we always bounce ideas off of each other. So how did the idea start with this, uh, with the show? I wanted to do this all my life. All you my life since I'm a little kid. Before? I've done elements of this, but because not this type of thing. Practicing illusion and magic for oh, decades. Decades. Many, many decades. It's really scary when so you think of an element. So the first time you're having a, a full-on theater show. Yeah, that, that includes wow, so dance. Wow, dream is coming. So, yeah, well, you know, you have things on your bucket list that you go, you know, exactly. getting to that age, where, so. Now or never. Exactly, so it's now. And it's, it's actually April tw April 20th. So are you happy with how things are coming to get? Yeah, they're great. There's still a lot of things that we have to do. Um, 
to get to that final piece, you know, but it, it'll all come together. It always comes together last minute. So how is you as kind of like the, the mastermind conductor, uh, your, your ideas, how is it that you think of these different illusions? Do you create them or are these illusions that you are repeating from shows that you've seen? Or? It's a combination of everything, actually. Yeah, there's some classical illusions that are here. There's some things that we piece together ourselves. We completely turn the routines around. Sometimes there's something, there's one piece in particular that when you see every illusionist do this piece, it's, it's high energy, it's super fast. And I sometimes don't like to continue in that. So we did exactly opposite the way every illusionist does this one piece. We, we slowed it down and all the movements are just almost as if you're going in slow motion. And the result is the same, but it's almost more spectacular because there isn't any of right. you know, everybody does something. But here you do a slow and you go, no, no way. Even when I look back at some of the video, when we, when we rehearse, we always record our, our, our things. And when I look back, I said, oh my God, that looked like real magic. I almost fooled myself, but I knew how it was done. So I didn't quite fool myself, but almost. You know, you know the tricks. And yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get a little uh, backstage, is backstage. Uh, seeing here of uh, some of the illusion. Yes, you are. Yeah. And we might put you in one too. Oh, Lord. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. so, so when people come to the show, what experience are they going to take with them? What do you hope that they, that they take with them? So my whole job is to create an experience that brings you back to a moment of childlike innocence, you know, where everything is new, everything is wondrous, everything is just Oh no, wow, it's just incredible. So the show is put together in such a way so that you think you're walking down this one path and all of a sudden, nah, you're not. It goes into a completely different direction. Sometimes it goes into a direction that's really dark and scary and weird. And sometimes it goes into this fun, oh my God, oh my God, this is really cool, you know, kind of a thing. Um, so we, we like to play with the minds of our audience just we don't want you to know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. And that's the way the show is designed. There's 18 scenes within this entire show. It's kind of put together like a play or like a book. And every chapter has something different in there. And there's a beginning and a middle and an end to every scene. So hopefully something that will stay with everybody for a really long time. And, and how long is the show? The show is about an hour and a half. We, we hope to try to do something that's different as far as a concept goes. Most shows here, and I've been to a lot of them that are incredible, but they're, they're here for a day, maybe three days, if it's a, a long running show here, right. and then they're done. And then there's another show that comes in to take their place. I want to try to create something that you see in Las Vegas, something that you see on Broadway. It's, it's, uh, more of a long running show. From time to time, the elements within the show change. Sometimes the entire show will change. So maybe um, like once a, a month or once every... I would like to do this every week. Oh, really? I would like to, yeah. Right now we're slated in, in April for Thursdays and Fridays, okay. beginning on the 20th. And then we'll see where it goes. If, if, it, if it works the way I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it works, um, we're, we'd like to continue it and see where... Excellent. And, and where can people get tickets? Right now they can go to tusbolitos.com and they also, once you're there, they have some physical locations as well um, where you can just purchase tickets and also if you don't have a credit card, you can buy tickets through OXO and pay cash there. Great, great. And I'll leave all the information in the description box, so check yep. below as well. Mm -hmm. Well, great. We are super excited and uh, we're going <laughs> to take a, take a look at some of the behind the scenes here. Cool. Well, thanks, Howard. You're welcome. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Yes.